So Manco Chrome is the largest diversified chrome mining company in the world in terms of our resource base. It consists basically of the chrome of the Bushveld Igneous Complex and then we've got Eastern Chrome Mines um, near the Steelport area in the far eastern side of the Bushveld Complex. Chrome is a cyclical commodity, very much dependent in terms of our um, uh, markets in China and the Far East. So you have to be very cost conscious, very cost conscious, and I know it's been a cliche in the mining industry, but with Chrome it's even more closer to the ground level and really flipping your, your pennies over. It's quite extensive, in the order of 300 uh, meters by 100,000 meters, which is quite vast, it's the aerial extent that you're looking at. Uh, compared to the thicknesses of the seams, we're looking at thicknesses in the order of 100 centimeters. So that, that would give you a nice idea about the problems that you can experience. We have chrome seams, um, some singular, some double and some having three separate chromatite uh, layers with waste separating them. With regard to the fault modeling, uh, we I before used uh, other software packages extensively where it was open for a lot of interpretation. In the previous company that I worked for, I used a different uh, modeling package and I found that it wasn't um, very user friendly. It was pretty complicated and it, it took a, a long time to learn how to use it and to be effective. We opted through a lot of discussions, of course, as to why we've used Minix. Uh, I haven't used it really before and, and I needed some convincing. For very thin ore bodies like chromatite seams, uh, fairly flat, similar to the coal uh, seams that, uh, that's being mined, yes, uh, Minix uh, lends itself nicely to the modeling of that. And you don't have that kind of problem using the 2D grids to actually model your chromatite seams. We weren't getting the accuracy in the definition uh, with the other software packages uh, that we were testing and that's where the importance came in with Minix that we were getting the definition. We were being able to find geological structures and variations in a very thin seam deposit and that is part of our tool, that is part of our assessment process. And the graphics interface of Minix allows one to view the ore body in its entirety so that you can see where there's um, holes in your data and also where there's complicated structure where you may need to do some infill drilling. For us it's an important planning tool uh, to be able to decide in terms of a project what the um, positives and the negatives are in terms of the resource and it really allows us to make an ultimate decision and at the end of the day it adds to the value curve uh, for the company and that's a vital thing. You can process a whole lot of seams simultaneously so instead of having to do the same process over and over you can process the whole lot in one go. Fairly complex areas, highly faulted and we can use it there, definitely. So yes, I've, I've pretty much been converted uh, so to speak. The reason that, uh, that we've still remained with Minix is firstly the, the integration of our database with Minix in terms of the user friendliness. It's, it's a very automated process in terms of bringing data in, validating the data and then obviously building the model. You can do a reconciliation and, and see if your actual tonnages that's being mined and brought out of the mine matches closely with your Minix model. If you look at the benefit realization in terms of utilizing the software from Gemcom, people save less time capturing data and more time analyzing information and looking at various scenarios. Most people look at a pretty picture and they look at the model, but they don't really understand the dynamics behind it. And Minix really brings that to the forefront in terms of, of exposing that information and really giving answers that people want. There's a powerful software package that allows you to optimize and plan your minds accordingly and put the right people in place and at the end of the day to produce a final product that is your, your revenue that keeps the company alive and allows you to grow. Technologically we must gear ourselves to be on the cutting edge always in, and this is a step that we're taking with Gemcom software to really put us on the edge. We are primarily a mining company so we really lean a lot in terms of our strategic partners like Gemcom 
to always develop the best practices of actually utilizing software to take us into that future of being a sustainable number one chrome producer in the world. Gemcom is not a supplier or a vendor, it's a business, a strategic business partner for Samantha Chrome.